Hello friends, uh, today I want to talk about the lotteries that we have all won, whether at the time of birth, whether th throughout our life and, and in so many other ways. The first one is about health. Just 100 years ago, hardly anyone will survive beyond the age 40. They would die because of various uh, diseases like TB, or, or malaria, or, or even famine, that the most powerful kings and, and, and men of kings died at a very early age. I come from the place uh, in Maharashtra, and this place used to be ruled by a very powerful ruler uh, named Madhavrao Peshwa, but he died at the age of 27 because of tuberculosis. That doesn't happen anymore. Uh, most of us get to live at least 60, 70, 80 years, barring few exceptions. So we have already won this lottery of health only because we came to this world in the 20th and 21st century. The second one I want to talk about is, is education. If, if you have got to uh, do your post-graduation or graduation, or you went to college, Depending on whichever country you are in, you are amongst the lucky 5 to 30 percent people in the world. Not, not many people are fortunate to go, to go to college and get higher education. Many of them even can't go to college or even school. Right? If, if uh, I, I remember in my first standard, we were 200 of us. In the 10th standard, hardly 100 students were left. And out of that, hardly 50 of us went to college. And out of that, hardly three to four of us got good education and completed our higher education. So that's the kind of luck we have been blessed with. It is not that we have been smart or, or God's gift to mankind. It's just that we were plain lucky. The third thing I want to talk about is about wealth. If if you are able to eat properly three times a day, if you are able to use internet, if you are able to see this video, if you can understand English, and if you can see opportunities as, to, as far as wealth and career and investments are concerned, again, you are, you are in top 10 to 20% people in the world, much far ahead of other 80%. So I'm, it is again, uh, most of my peers uh, from my village, they were not fortunate. Actually. Some of them even killed themselves by doing a suicide. I didn't or, get that. Or, Could you try or again? Taking some extreme steps. So I never feel that I've been smart or blessed. I'm, I'm blessed, I, but I'm, I've been extremely lucky. No one is, no one, no one is self-made. Actually, we all have been beneficiaries of different, different things. Whether it is getting good parents, whether it is getting good education whether it is getting good health services and, and so many things like that. The, the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett even takes it even further. He says, this is little technical, in the human reproductive system, there are millions of sperms and, and thousands of eggs. But out of those millions of sperms and thousands of eggs, hardly one, two or more, maybe three, get to be full-fledged human beings and, and, and survive a good life and have a good life like us. Do you get what I'm saying? So we have been blessed with so much luck and, and, and the only response uh, in such situation would be to be grateful, having a sense of gratitude that we got so many things without even asking for anything. And that's when uh, I see people complaining about small, small things. I, 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 I really feel sad and puzzled. Anyway, so let's, let's enjoy the luck that we have been bestowed with. Let's, let's make best use of our time. Let's be grateful. Let's be useful. Thank you. If you liked this small talk, please do subscribe, like, share, so that others can also benefit from, 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 from good insights and learnings. Have a great day and life. Thank you.